Hello everybody, this is QuickSquare here, and today we are back playing Hermit Pack on the Creedcraft server, and today our base is looking kind of messy everywhere, all over the place, and you know, there's no uniformity between anything, and yeah, so we're going to fix that today. And so today we are going to work on all of the paths and the basic layout of the base that we have right here, including the paths right here, and we'll... Um, probably uh, work on filling this section in with water too and so those are the things that we are going to work on in today's episode um, but yeah I plan on using a fair amount of cobblestone chiseled cobblestone though not just cobblestone so chiseled cobblestone which should hopefully help make it um, look much much nicer as far as that goes and so we will um, I think, you know, building is, is kind of interesting because a lot of times you just, like, experiment around with stuff and see if it works, and if it doesn't, then you get rid of it, and if it does, then you leave it. Um, and so it can be kind of not necessarily always the most interesting thing to, to do, if that makes any sense. Um, but it... Uh, it is an extremely necessary part of any uh, form of building because, well, any form of anything in that matter, because otherwise you just end up with this uh, junky looking base and no one wants to live in a junky looking base. Like, you know. <laughs> so, um, that's what I'm going to be doing today, seeing if things work. And if they don't, then I will be replacing them, and if they do, then I will be um, leaving them there, and, uh, continuing them on, and so on and so forth. So, this embossed stuff is actually looking very nice as far as, like, a more solid, concrete-y style of, um, style of stuff, and so, like, we'll have the main dam be right here, and we'll have a proper wall, including proper borders and stuff eventually, but uh, this will be the more solid part, and then we'll have the dam with all of the stuff inside, and then we'll have another solid part on this side to finish it off. And so that is actually looking pretty good. And we'll need these border blocks before we'll actually be able to tell whether this will work in the final thing, but I think that this will be perfect. Yeah, no. Okay, the smooth stuff might work for a bit of this, but it needs to transition before it comes to this area right in here. Aha, there we go. That is much nicer. Okay, so we can get rid of these blocks right here because these are just there for the sake of being there so that I can use my swapping wand on them. You know, it, it was my palette, essentially. I was working with different blocks, seeing which ones worked. Um... But these, uh, this is what's working right now, at least. Um, and it's looking pretty good as far as that goes. Like, I think I might want to switch out these other side blocks for these side blocks. Um, yeah, I I think that's that's what I want to do. And the other side blocks are actually stone instead of, um instead of cobblestone. So, um, yeah, uh, things are looking very nice here. And we have started on our pathway over up over here and around this way. And I decided that this uh, other disarrayed tiles um, cobblestone wasn't working as well for me because it was too chaotic. Um, it was good, it was just too chaotic. Um, and so we've just gone with the stone brick here and taken that all the way up with slabs and everything up to ta -da, the thing up here and so now inside this cavern right here we want to light things up and so I have a bunch of lanterns that we are going to place on in the ceiling right there and we're just gonna say those are fastened there to the ceiling maybe I don't know this is kind of a tight tunnel though I'm I'm thinking I might want to expand it kind of. Uh yeah, that would that definitely want to expand this. Okay, so I've been thinking about this and 
I'm thinking that maybe we might want to raise up the height of the floor of the dam by a few blocks um, just to, uh, I don't know, help it out a little bit, uh, make it look a little more realistic because normally the water does not go straight up to the level of the dams, right? Uh, but we are stuck with this water level though because of the water level of everywhere else including the river over there and everything and so while we can make the area underneath the water deeper and we can um, raise everything else we can't necessarily change the height of the water unless we want to change all the height of the water and that's not happening so um, so we got this here and so I was gonna so we're gonna raise the height of the uh, this walkway right here and hopefully we shouldn't run into any problems and that should um, hopefully be go just fine but um, I'll let you know if any other uh, new things come up however we have also been doing a bit of work around here with uh, some terraforming and stuff I think that this hill for the most part might just go I don't know though. We'll we'll have to see how how things work out, but I'm thinking that we might we'll have to move these somewhere else and maybe up in that hill over there. Um in, like near the top of this mountain or something. I don't know. Um but I'm pretty sure that either way they're going to have to be moved and that we can put a bridge here eventually and some other stuff, but um this is what the, the tunnel here looks like. It's looking pretty good. We've finished this area off as well. For the most part, we've removed the sugar cane, and I think I'm going to put a bridge in here as well. But we'll just have to see. Um, but the, anyway, this is the tunnel right here, and it is looking pretty good. Still got to replace that diorite with some regular stone and stuff like that, but it is it has come together very nicely, and I really like it. Um, yeah. So, uh, several big things to do, including moving the floor right here, as well as um, some other little bits and pieces around, but uh, this should uh, go pretty well. Oh yes, I like that a lot. That is already looking much better, and all we've done is raise the dam a little bit. It's very nice. Aha! Uh -huh. I am liking how this is turning out. So I am actually very pleased with how this is uh, coming along. It's, I don't know, having just kind of like the right natural shape to it with all of this stuff um, going on around here. We might even want, consider, uh, raising this uh, whole section right here, uh, the platform, up a block. Um, just to make it a little more believable with the rest of this stuff. But the next thing that we're going to do is make a bridge from this side all the way over to right here. And why are we making this so long? Well, um, this over here is actually the area that uh, they're going to start putting their crops on and stuff like that. And so it's not actually... Um, hello, zombie. <coughs> Okay, so the water, because it comes up fairly high, um, we need to be able to be prepared for when it does come up higher because of rain and stuff like that. So we put in a drain right there, and we will also, uh, this wall right here is to shield the crops from the flooding and to keep the... Uh, water from eroding away at the farmland that we already have existing and so what we're doing um, is we're creating a bridge from one side to the other that is supposed to um, help with this whole uh, situation and so when you're going over to the farmland don't have to worry about the path you're on being flooded um, because and plus there's a little river right here uh, that's going to run through into uh, towards where the dam is so uh, I think these salt blocks are glowing I have no idea break time we are over at another member of the uh, servers base right now and this is a zombie duckers base um, he is a member of the server 
and he has built this absolutely enormous pyramid, and it is super cool looking. Um, with all the different pathways looking really nice, and everything, I don't know, it's just, this is super neat looking, and so he hasn't finished it yet, but, um, anyway, just thought I'd show this off to you guys, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, now it's time to get back to work. Okay, so I actually had already built a big long bridge across here. Uh, but I tore it down because it didn't look very good and suit the theme or anything. And so I've decided that what I'm going to do instead is I am going to build a suspension bridge across here. And so <laughs> that should be uh, rather interesting to uh, to build. And so I'm going it, to... It'll also be a pretty cool thing to just like look at, see a suspension bridge in Minecraft across here. So that'll definitely be something that will be a lot of fun to, um, to build. I'm, I think I'm starting to like it. It's, it's not bad. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's not bad. So what I've done is I've used the treated fence right here as kind of the big thick cables and used that all the way through uh, the whole thing and then as the connecting cables that actually hold the bridge up I have used the hemp rope and structural cable connectors in order to hook those together and so um, essentially the hemp rope and structural cable connectors are just decorative and so um, yeah pretty simple there but yeah this is um, I don't know it's it's pretty good. The dip in the middle might need to go lower, but I don't know. We'll 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 just have to see. It's it's not looking bad, and so I'm happy with it. Uh, let me know what you think of it down in the comments if you want to. Man, and it looks really cool when you walk through it like this. Oh yes, <laughs> that is so neat. Oh man. The only thing that might end up getting changed is uh, this corner right here might become a sharp cor corner so that this right here is just is anchored into the ground more and stuff like that, if that makes sense. So that uh, the pathway doesn't like cut underneath it. You know, I don't know. It might make it look better, it might not. Well, I'll we'll just have to see how that works. But walking through this thing, that is so cool. That is so neat. I love it. Oh yes, that is great. I think that's even going to be the thumbnail. Let's take a picture of it. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, anyone. Anyway. So it turns out that Kylo needed some uh, slime pearls, and so... I traded him two slime pearls, and I, he was like, well, what do you want? And I'm like, hmm, well, I'm short on iron, right? And so I got a bunch of iron. So <laughs> let's, uh, anyway, this, this path right here is just kind of coming along. It's just a continuation of this path and just um, kind of meant to go back over to the where the farm is so that you can actually, like, you know, access the farm and uh, stuff from not just the one bridge right there. And so it runs along the out. It'll run along the outside here, and eventually we will move this um, refined, reinforced what's it called steel maker thingy into a better spot. Um, but thanks to all of this iron, we can actually finish this up and put a fence around it, which is super neat. So this is a yeah bunch of bunch of cool stuff. Oh yeah. I don't really want to build on top of this, but fortunately we have a builder's wand. Ha oh, ha. There we go. We are all set as far as that. Oops. Ah, yes. That just completes this. Totally and completely. It is up with the water right here. I have no idea. Because all these blocks are in place, and all the water is in just, is like just fine. At least, I don't know, maybe it's not. Hmm. But anyway, things are going very well, um, and I know that this episode is a little shorter than uh, the time I normally go for, but uh, this is 
There's still quite a bit of content and stuff, and I've spent a ton of time putting together this bridge and all of the other stuff, and so I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will see you in the next episode, where we are going to be working on the actually additions or mining and stuff like that. So that should be super duper cool. So I will see you then, and for now, bye! I'm going to build suspension before you see the suspension bridge because it is so cool.